here's why Zach doesn't have shit taken care of. I'm going to roast Zach for a second. Zach oh called me up last year, and he goes, uh, hey, Ethan, uh, Can first you of all. Me to Doug Tenaple? No, no, fuck Doug Tenaple. He goes, Ethan, uh, I'm going to go on a TV show on Comedy <laughs> Central. And I say, well, why don't you go on Joe Rogan like he invited you? He said, I'm a little nervous about that. Instead, I'm going to fucking go on some dickhead from Comedy Central. Uh, yeah, but he handled himself well. He did. Is that true or false? No, no, and, no, no, no. You know that you're not remembering. Uh, Joe Rogan, I blew him off because yeah, I was moving, and then I contacted him again. And he didn't respond. But Tim Pool said that's Joe Rogan's thing. He invites everyone on. Tim Pool like flew to L.A. like three times before he got on the first time. Joe, like, Joe Rogan me, smokes goes, weed all day long. Yeah, but you, but just, you wanted to Joe Rogan is writing emails to Albert Einstein. Hey, man, I'd like you to be on my show. Like, he doesn't exactly know who he's saying. inviting. You, he wanted you on because you're a big star within Comics Gate. And he wanted you on. And you were like, I just, I'm not really ready. And then some switch flipped in your head where you went, you know what? I'm ready. But instead of doing Joe Rogan. No, no, first, I was I'm legitimately like dickhead. moving. Like, I was like. I was like packing up. I didn't have time to to leave. Yeah, but then when I hit him, I hit him up like a month later, and he didn't respond. I saw. Okay. I, saw that, I saw that show with that Australian douchebag who I I actually liked a lot because he was he was in the vein of all of a lot of us. Where he, if you ever watch this comedy shit, you're like, ah, oh, this guy's hilarious. He fucking, you know, he makes fun of all this stuff. No, he was he was the most. Politically incorrect comic a a year before that. Yo, well, whatever. Well, yeah, he wanted well, to get the deal his, with him is that he that. exactly he so he was like um, completely politically incorrect, and then he did one special where he talked about like gun control. So all the Samantha B types loved him instantly, and he just said, you know, very kind of I would say cannily, he said, "Okay, screw it. This is you know the future." So now I'm Mr. Politically Correct. That's correct. And that's when he saw you and he said, Zach, I can make you look like a dummy. And he put you out. He brought you out to San Diego Comic-Con. And by the way, Andrea watched this video. I didn't. But she saw you like running through San Diego Comic-Con. No, it was New York. New York. No, it was San Diego. That feels, was, that feels like that was four years ago. It's only one year ago. I know. It's only one yeah. fucking year ago. Dude, hey, it was Zach, so you much stuff. You that, wait. Hey, shush. I'm talking to my friend, you're Zach. In, Hold on a second. In New York. Not, not, uh, not. Stop. Let me talk to Zach. So, Zach, one year ago, you were wandering around. You were running through San Diego Comic-Con, and you were, like, doing an interview. And I said, Zach, don't do it. I said, Zach, don't do this. This is a mistake. You said, you know what? Big deal. This is just one stop on my way. You know, I'm going to do Joe Rogan. I'm going to do a bunch of other things. Yeah, yeah. That, that was a mistake, obviously. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, well, it, well I know. And it doesn't matter. But uh, that's the thing. Like, when that guy brought you out, you did this interview. They treated you well initially. And then as soon as you were done, they kind of threw you out. It's fucking dickheads. Dude, and it I, was so ice cold. Like, as soon as it... Well, first of all, I knew it was a hit piece, like, two minutes in. That's why I'm smirking the whole time. Because I was like, does he... I, was like, I love that look on your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like after it ended, they didn't even say like it was over. Like they just like stopped, and I was like, "Oh, dude!" Like they didn't show me out. Like that these was... people were just like straight up evil. So uh, yeah, I definitely learned a, a lesson about trusting people from that one. It's that just was like so you can't trust them. When that, when that video came out, and then the light came on, and you were standing there with your this smirk on your face but they did that backwards they tricked zach that wasn't yeah real. that was at the end when i already knew it was a hit piece like it was obviously a hit piece like two minutes in. that's why i'm smirking the whole time because i'm just like okay the, the, the irony of it all is that he would totally be with you you know well, that's the deal when we were taking little breaks he was we were talking like normal people the thing about jim jeffries is not in charge of the jim jeffries show like, he's mm -hmm. just a mouthpiece. Honestly, I have no animosity to him. He's just some dude from Australia just tr trying to get a nice house. It I was the know. it was the producers. Those were like the scumbags. From Hollywood, are, man. Yeah. Well, he's lost all his credibility since then. But, I mean, it is interesting. It's just like, you know, he would. he's the kind of guy who, in between takes, would be like, yeah, fuck the Muslims, right? Fuck them. 
<laughs> well, he talked to uh, the other then, guy and said that, but I think he was kind of baiting him. But yeah, sure. honestly, like he was just a mouthpiece. Like he he just read shit off a piece of paper. He showed up supposedly sober. He seemed super drunk when I met him. Um, and it was just like he was riffing and his jokes were not funny. Like every single person in this chat is funnier than Jim Jeffries, like yeah. off the top of their head. Wow. So I was like, eh, whatever. Is it, it um but um that literally feels like it was four to five years it ago. does like when you got you were leaving san diego me and zach talk almost every day you know via facebook I messenger and i said how you doing zach and you said uh that was a fucking axe job it's a hatchet job i was like shit i remember that dude i remember that distinctly the funny you... thing is i actually forgot about it like two days later i forgot about it and then like <laughs> four days later everyone's like Oh my God, it's so bad. I go, what's bad? They go, what? You flew across the country? You did an interview? Oh, I forgot. As soon as I knew it was a hatchet job, I was just like, whatever. And I went over to San Diego Comic Con and uh, a, a buddy, one of the insiders, like uh, got me into the con. And uh, oh my God, San Diego is awful. <laughs> it's like the worst convention ever. Even 10 minutes sucked. As a, as a, Resident Normie, man, I, I watched that video, and like I could totally see it, it was it was so transparent what they were doing. It was not even like it, what I couldn't even classify it as a hit job because it was. Well, like, that's that's one of the reasons I didn't have any real animosity towards Jim Jeffries. Like it was the laziest hit piece ever. It was just like. Hey, why do you like this? Oh, it's okay. Like he was almost falling asleep. And then in between, we were just having normal conversations about like solo. He's like, Yeah, I like solo. I know people hate it, but I liked it. It was okay. <laughs> Zach, uh, yeah, I hate that. I hate that that happened to you with all my heart. I'll tell you that right now. You're my friend. By the way, I've it's just one of those things in life. You got to be, you got to learn to not mean, trust like, everyone. You know what I mean? No, you got to learn to anyone. That was now, you can trust people, but you gotta you gotta test them out. They gotta prove themselves, and uh, yeah, that was trusted a guy with a dream. His dream was an earthworm in a spacesuit, and it didn't work <laughs> out so great. Uh, no, Zach, Zach trusted this guy. Zach was just like, I'm gonna kind of get out of my shell and start doing uh, start doing some TV, my... start getting out and 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 you know answering for my ideas. And and the thing about Zach is that none of his ideas are radical. All of his ideas makes sense and even when he went to to uh super cuts from no he except for that one <laughs> yeah <laughs> Zach my, doesn't, don't trust his fashion ideas at all but i mean you know uh, from yeah my, from my point of view as like a guy that doesn't know much you know like i watched that show and like i could totally get it like the, the smirk on your face he said it all to me like I, I and maybe i'm biased because i know you and i know the situation but i watched that and i'm like that wasn't that big a deal you know that was <laughs> well that's why i forgot about it i said this is so obviously hit piece no normal person is going to be and and nothing bad has happened because of it it's just like yeah we're not normal people though normal people in in the whole comics industry so yeah, they loved it. Fucking Tim Doyle. That's why I have to destroy Tim Doyle. This, this chat is the most normal people, and we were fucking, we're out of our minds. I'm